people deluded i'm back again now what was i gonna say Oriel Sabal, I hope I've said his name correctly. Mikel Ariel Sabal, I feel like a proper Spanish lad saying that, man. I feel like I'm on, I feel like Graham Hunter in the man there on La Liga podcast. But um, banter aside, um, if you lot remember, he's come a long way. He's 21 years of age, 19 years of age, he made, he made his Spanish debut. And I like him a lot. Um, I've spoken about him before and you lot have seen him too, so he's not, nothing's new under the sun, I guess. He's, he has not come out from underneath no rock. We all know about him. Um, from what I've seen of him, it's clear to see he's got a lot of potential, but it's also clear to see why he's not at a big, the top elite clubs in Barcelona, Munich, Madrid, etc. for all the t times they linked with him. Um, so, yeah. What I like about him, he obviously scored um, scored for um, scored against Celta Vigo on on Monday, and he might have even set up the second goal. I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, against Celta Vigo, he could. Have, I'm so sure he set up the second goal as well. But forgive me. Um, it was a header. Again, forgive me if I'm wrong. I mean, it was on Monday, and we've seen Champions League, we've seen Neymar ruin Liverpool and that. But yeah, I like him a lot. First thing that impresses me for someone that lacks. I wouldn't say he's slow, but he lacks for a winger. He does lack a considerable amount of pace. If I was a fullback, I'd rather play against him than someone like Adama Traore. But what he makes up with that, for someone who lacks pace, I think he's very good 1v1 situations, beating his man, getting crosses in, especially on the right-hand side. I like how he gets his head up and put crosses in. And on the subject of crosses, he's very pinpoint with his accuracy from set pieces, from deliveries and um, from wide positions and just passing a ball. I like his link-up play. He can actually play in the 10 role, to be honest with you. And there's actually scope for him to develop further. In fact, I actually think he could... I don't. I feel, it's clear to see how there's similarities with Antoine Griezmann, but there's actually, considering his physical attributes as well, he could actually be moved into a, a striker sort of thing, similar to how Griezmann sort of plays for Atletico. Um, and the top topic of him being a physical, having a lot of physical potential, he's what six foot something. He's comfortably six foot. Can chip him with headed goals, which he has done. Like if you remember when he burst on the scene, or forgive me if I'm wrong, and people are more knowledgeable. But when he scored a couple of years ago against Barcelona, I can't remember the result. All I can remember, Bravo was in goal, and it was within the first five minutes. Um, um, he he he's got an eye for them sort of goals there. So his movement's good. The way he's able to run beyond the last man, similar to Deli Ali, is very good. He's got four goals in thirteen appearances this year, twelve coming in La Liga. So he can improve. He can improve in that. In fact, he hasn't got that many goals since he's burst onto the scene. He's only twenty one. He turns twenty two next year. Like I said, he's got a lot that he can improve on and develop and develop in regards. But I like him a lot, man, and I think maybe he's the winger we could look for. Again, it goes against logic because we know we we've all said, myself included, we need a pacey, a direct winger. You can class him as direct, but you could also class him as someone that likes to build pace and patiently get pretty crosses in. He has no problems taking someone down the down the flanks and stuff but that's not really him in it he's not the quickest of men in it so i can't really sit here and say we need someone that's dynamic direct and things like that and say it's him then you look go and look at him and you say dg's a fraud because i've made a i've made a case i've never lied to you guys but um yeah so what was i going to say on on top of that as well so yeah man this is it's clear to see why he hasn't quite kicked on into the spanish full-time national team or is at a top club top clubs are probably waiting for him to develop a bit more so yeah he's still young but he's doing the right things man and he's had some he's had a couple of nasty injuries as well so we can't we have to discount a bit for that but yeah there's not really much more for me to say anyways people on him it's just someone i'd be looking at from now to the end of the season and someone i've been watching for a while now and i think he would make a difference at arsenal how much we'd pay for him i'm not too sure because i swear bill bow had a bid rejected for 40 billion um, Bill Bell actually wanted him as a child but his parents selected for him to stay I think it was at Ibar, forgive me if I'm wrong or a team local to his uh, where he was staying because it's important to enjoy his development and things like that which is correct but it's crazy how football works you go from trying to get this kid as a, as, as a child to train for your team and then as a teenager you're bidding 40 million for him football's crazy man um, that's what I wanted to say anyway so I'm going to get out of your hair on that note people Deluded, stay safe and them things. Damn, out. People, deluded, I'm back again, your favourite YouTuber. Now, what was I going to talk about, people? Inaki Williams. I've got a lot of time for him and I would like Arsenal to make a move for him. Now, I don't make any decisions. We've obviously scouted him and we're probably not going to get him. If I remember correctly, he actually signed a contract renewal deal January of last year. Well, January of this year, soon to be last year, 2018. Um... 
contract extensions don't necessarily mean anything. But yeah, for me, I would love him at Arsenal. Now, I'd, 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 I I I want to stop saying he's he's raw because he's 24 years of age now. You need to come into your own or getting into that. I still find him extremely hot and cold and at times very indecisive. But I'd still he's still a favoured player of mine. I still think he's got ability. No disrespect to Bill Bow, but I do think eventually he'll be a, a, a higher reputable, reputable club in a sense than Bill Bow. Um, I still think there's a lot of untapped potential there or a rough diamond of sorts. And I do think he'd benefit Arsenal. First and foremost, his playing style. He can he can link up well. He's very positive. He'll try and be a nuisance to a fullback. He's positive. He'll try and beat a fullback. He'll try and link up well. He'll try and constantly get use his pace to get in behind. Arsenal, I don't need to tell you that Arsenal have been lacking that. And Arsenal fans, I definitely ain't got to tell you we've been lacking a winger of sorts. Um, so, yeah, he would come and do that. He can play up front. He can play on either flank. So he'd bring in adaptability. Obviously, if Welbeck was to leave tomorrow, there's, we already need a, a winger or, or richer attacking options. If he was to leave tomorrow, it heightens that even further to which Inaki Williams should arrive to the club. Um, typically, he, he, he returns in all competitions around double figures as well. So if you consider what Lacazette and Aubameyang should be getting, and typically we do have a lot of different goal scorers, but I, by the same logic and statistics don't back me up, but I do think we're not a threat enough from enough areas in the sense that you look at some other teams, yeah, the strikers and a couple other players are the threats from immediate threats to goal you're looking at, but if they're having an off day, X, Y and Z could pick up the pieces. We don't have that to which he would be able to do that. He's a decent finisher, clearly, to which he can improve. I mean, he's got 40, he's contributed 45 goals and assists roughly in a hundred, in just over 100 appearances for Bilbao. Let me get up the specifics for you people and do you lot justice that you deserve. See, he's contracted until 2025, so it's a bit of a myth. For Bilbao people, in 176 appearances in all competitions, 38 goals, 25 assists. Um, so, yeah... For in La Liga, he's got 25 goals and 20 assists and 133. So, yeah, man, for Spain, he's got one solitary cap. For the under-21 side for Spain, three goals in 17 appearances. So there's obviously some untapped potential in there or some or, or a player there. Like I said, a bit hot and cold. He probably needs to take his game up several levels um, to make a difference at a bigger club. But I like him a lot and I definitely think we could do a lot worse. And I definitely think his pace, his power to a degree, his link-up play and his... Positive is positivity in the sense that in a sense of he will keep trying to run at someone and be a nuisance. We could do we could definitely do a lot worse than that. Obviously, you know, Emre is Spanish and the character of possibly playing with playing for Arsenal and 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 emulate, emulating Henri and things like that could be something that plays on his mind and arouses his imagination. But apart from me just using that as reasons for us to possibly convince him to sign for the club, it's quite meaningless essentially. So yeah. Probably come it was for me his best probably probable season was probably fifteen sixteen. I'm so sure he had a good person on a personal level season that year. Probably returned thirteen fourteen goals as well and really helped him. Since then he's gone a bit off the ball and been a bit hot and cold. But it is what it is, man. I mean he got seven Premier League Premier League seven La Liga goals last year. I believe. Forgive me if I'm wrong. He's already got um four goals in all comps. Pardon me this year. So he might be on the right track again to give you lot the right information. Oh, you see, 14 15, he had a good season as well. He got 16 goals, all comps, but only one of them came in La Liga. So, boy, see, so clearly you can see there's a lot that he can improve on in a sense. So, looking at his stats, people, like I've told you, this year he's got four goals in La Liga, two, two assists. Um, and looking at last year, what did he get? He got seven and six, seven goals, six assists. So he's already on track to better that. Ten goals, eight assists in all competitions. So ten goals and eight assists could actually... It's not the biggest, but from a wide position or from another player, that could help us a lot, in my humble opinion. And I just like him away from all of these people. So there's not much more to say on that. So let me get out of your hair, people. So, yeah, people, deluded, get in a comment, subscribe, and do the rest if you wish. I'm personally out for now, though. People deluded. A quick vid, I'm not going to keep you here long, but Maxi Gomez, Uruguayan international, 22 years of age striker at Celta Vigo. Um, if you look at him and Politech, I can't say his name of Genoa, there's, every year there's a couple strikers you look at. I like Maxi Gomez. First and foremost, 
I think he, he has that South American passion and heart. He chases down lost causes. I wouldn't say he has a fiery temper, but he's not scared of anyone. Um, he comes alive in the box. I mean, at 22 years of age, in the last 10, 10 11 games, to have four goals and seven, um, seven goals and four assists, sorry, shows you're on a good run of form. And, I mean, if he can, if he can go, if, if he can match even a fraction of a couple of good Uruguay strikers fall and in, in, in his Spanish league days, um, Obviously, I don't need to tell you who Suarez and Cavani are. If he can go and match even a quarter of their ability or what they've done in the game, he'll be on a good. He'll be on a thingy. He'll have a good career, and he's trying to add his name. I assume add his name to that industrious list of strikers, past, present, and and them things for Uruguay. Um, he scored in the defeat against um, Sociedad, which I watched because Ojara Bold was there. I can't say his name. Um, yeah, I like him. He's probably, if I look at his, his game, he's probably a bit too hot and cold at the moment to probably join a top team, but within the next 18 months or so, he might. He probably makes this step up from Celta Vigo. At uh, what level, I'm not, too, I'm not too sure. If I was him, I'd actually consider staying, because I think staying at clubs like this allows you to develop and become the best you can be. You look at Martinez of, at Inter Milan. I've seen him score twice this season, but he needs to develop, and there's a lot of scrutiny when you're playing at certain, at certain clubs. Um, I like his. I wouldn't say his hold up play is amazing, but I think he's got good hold up play. I think he works the channels well. I think he's fairly skillful. He's not. I wouldn't say he's got mad ability with football at his feet, but he can evade challenges. Um, he can get away from people. It seems it's a good signing, man. And you definitely think Celta Vigo, when the time comes, are gonna make a profit on this guy. Like I said, he comes alive in the box. Looking at his stats, they're very impressive, man. He's been capped nine times. By Uruguay, he's yet to score, to my knowledge, based on the statistics. Um, for his poor, from his former club, um, Defence or Sporting Club, forgive me for mispronunciation. In fifty-two appearances, twenty-nine goals, twelve assists for Celta Vigo, fifty goals, and he scored. I mean, fifty games, and he scored in half of those in twenty-five, getting nine assists. So in La Liga, in forty-seven appearances, twenty-five goals, nine assists. In the Uruguayan, what I assume is the Uruguayan top division, 15 goals in 20 appearances with 5 assists. Um, 9 assists in La Liga, in case I didn't say that. But you see how good he, you see how good he is. He, he, he makes a difference. Um, he obviously scored against Atletico Madrid as well. He had a decent game in that. He's had an ankle injury this year. And like I said, he's someone that I think has got a lot of ability and thinks has got a lot of potential. He's fairly skillful. He's got an eye for goal. He's link-up play. And you can't really... You can teach movement and an eye for goal. You can obviously improve a player, telling him to get into the right areas, telling him when he should he should sniff for a goal or, or gamble and things. But to a degree, I believe you have to be born with that. That has to be within you, born with you. And I believe Maxi Gomez has been made to score goals and stuff like that. And it's clear to see why you're looking at... Um, a couple of teams outside the top six are looking at him and I think he'd do a good job for them. Um, it's clear to see why you see in Barcelona, Madrid, Dortmund, Spurs are all registering their interest in him. I'm not too sure if they'll actually follow through, but it's, it's, it's a good look on him. And I think he, I think what I like is his timing of his runs, how he hangs on the last shoulder as well. Good movement. From you've got good movement, um, you're born to score goals, you've got good movement and you've got a good knack of gambling. You're gonna, uh, in terms of gambling and getting into the area, you're gonna thingy be on the be on the right track. For now, it's just about development. It's just about playing games, getting confidence um, via playing games, and believing you can affect games at the top level or make the difference for your team. And that's that's all you can hope for, man. I mean, you look at Cavani at at, at, at Napoli and at PSV and all of PSG, sorry, and all of these things. But he honed his cross at Palermo and things like that. Suarez got a good education at Ajax before he came to do dirt. So there's no rush. I know in football, people like to rush people and things like that. But you'd imagine that Celta Vigo, when the time comes, are going to make a tidy profit on the four million or so that they've spent. They've got a good strike force. They've got Aspas who comes alive in the second. I mean, comes alive in Spain, and they've obviously got him, um, who's going to go on and make decent, decent profit for them, man. Like I said, man, he can also. Um, his headers are very decent as well, so again that goes to his movement. He can, he can, he can really. He's really got a spring on his on on his step and things like that, man. So yeah, um, he's fairly muscly as well, so he won't be intimidated by teammates um, by by teammates in the changing rooms or opposition um members. To be fair with you, and to to to, to be fair to him, for someone that's I wouldn't say he's massive and he's mad stocky and stuff, but someone that's as built as him, he's quicker than his frame suggests. But I'm not no running coach or no physical expert and things like that. The man's got an eye for goal, man. Like, 
that's it, man. And considering he's been in the league for what he can't have been in La Liga for 18 months or so, and he's taken to it like a duck to water. So you can only praise a man that's doing that. And if he carries it on sooner or later, you can't keep these things a secret. He would have, he would have moved on to bigger and better things. No disrespect to Celta Vigo. But yeah, it's not just him. Celta Vigo have numerous players, and you've seen my vids. There's a couple of players that I think can be bought for more money. I mean, sold for more money for Celta Vigo. Um, such is football, but I've got nothing more to add. So people, deluded, get in the comments, subscribe, and do the rest. I'm out.